Hi guys, finally some good news for Rishi Sunak. Well, sort of. Inflation has dropped below his target of about 5%. This was one of his five pledges back at the beginning of the year. It was a bit of a stupid promise because government has little impact on inflation. And that's them admitting it themselves. When did they say that? Well, last year when price rises were in double figures, it wasn't the fault of the government. It was the pandemic, the war in Ukraine, global problems. Now that it's dropping, Rishi Sunak and his chancellor here are doing a bit of a victory lap. But there's a problem with that. Why aren't you just trying to take credit for something that's not actually your responsibility? I mean, it's the Bank of England's job to bring inflation down. So isn't it more about what they've done rather than what you've done? Well, the government has a very important role in bringing down inflation because we are responsible for a whole fiscal context. A year ago, markets were worried that borrowing and debt were out of control. We took difficult decisions to bring that borrowing and debt down. And as a, as a result of that, we made it easier for the Bank of England to do their job. But we will continue to support them with the difficult decisions that they take on interest rates because the job is not yet done. OK, as I said, there's a bit of a problem with this. If we look at borrowing in the financial year to September 2023, um, Jeremy Hunt says here that, well, borrowing is down and this means inflation is down. But if we look at the graph, borrowing in general has increased. So if borrowing is still really high, as, as it was increasing over the last year, then you can't say that inflation is high because borrowing was high and now that inflation now inflation is down because borrowing has, 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 has what? What has happened to borrowing? According to this graph, it's still really high. Then he also talked about public sector debt. Public sector debt is currently at about £2.6 trillion. It's at its highest level since the 1960s. Now, according to the ONS, it increased slightly in, um, in September 2020, from September 2022 to September 2023. Now, it could have dropped somewhat since then, but we're still talking at record levels. So if inflation is at double figures last year, or at the beginning of this year, and it's, well, what is the, what's driving behind, what's the, driving that? Well, the government has said it's nothing to do with borrowing, it's nothing to do with uh, government debt. It's to do with the, the pandemic, it's to do with the war in Ukraine, whatever. Then how is, <laughs> how is it now down to public debt and borrowing? The real issue, of course, is the economy. It's growth. Is the economy growing? Well, it's growing very slightly, but it's um, because it started at a very low point. Now, this is according to Goldman Sachs, Rishi Sunak's old boss. They talk about here how the UK economy is lagging behind both the US and the EU. But the bigger point, of course, from all of this is that the reason the economy is, is doing so badly is because of Brexit shortages and because of government policy. The government don't want to spend public money on, on infrastructure, on things like this, so that this is not allowing the economy to grow um, to su sufficient levels. And Brexit shortages of workers and the the extra costs that are related to Brexit are a massive drag on the economy as well. So while the US and the EU will struggle through this problem, these problems, they are in a better position to deal with them than the UK. And, you know, Rishi Sunak and Jeremy Hunt can talk about how inflation is dropping, but it's in, it seems to be dropping because the economy is not doing very well. But this was what the Bank of England wanted to achieve. They wanted to manufacture a recession, or as close as possible to a recession, to bring the rate of inflation down. So as the job market becomes more difficult and is becoming more and more difficult for people to demand pay increases, it means that um, inflation will eventually come down because people will have less money in their pockets to spend. So the, uh, the economy will contract and inflation will come down. This was, this was the Bank of England's plan all along, and it was raised, it was highlighted by a number of economists. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.